بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته brothers and sisters out there a short reminder from myself your brother Asim Khan I want to share with you a verse in the Quran really a very inspiring uh, verse in the Quran in Surah uh, Az-Zumar Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says ليكفر الله عنهم أسوأ الذي عملوا ويجزيهم أجرهم بأحسن الذي كانوا يعملون so that he may bury away the worst of what they did and he may reward them according to the best of what they did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this verse is speaking about the muttaqun people that were cautious about him on the day of judgment Allah says he will do two things Number one, he will bury away the worst of what they did. The word kafara originally meant to bury. That is why the farmer was called the kafir. The kafir because he takes a seed and he buries it in the soil. Allah said, amilu." The worst things they used to do, the things they were ashamed about, the things they were felt guilty about doing, Allah will take the worst of them and bury them away so they never have to worry about them ever again. And if he will do that with the worst things they did, of course, what is less than that will also be taken care of. But the second thing is even more amazing. He said that he will reward them be ahsan according to or proportional to the very best things they did now what does that mean imagine that it's your graduation day and the dean hands you your results you know the scroll and you open it up and it's got a note inside the note says we calculated your mark not based on the average you scored in your tests and your exams and coursework but rather we searched for the best test you ever did the best exam you ever sat and the best coursework you handed in. And according to those marks, did we calculate your final grade? SubhanAllah. How would you feel on that day? You would feel amazed. You would feel like you're on top of the world. Allah said that this is how we will deal with your rewards. We will search out the best fast you ever did, the, the most sincere dua you ever made, the most focused prayer you ever prayed. And based on that, we will reward you for the, all the other fasts all the other prayers, all the other salah. How generous is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now this verse should really encourage us that this Ramadan, that we try to go the extra mile in doing good deeds. That we pray more of our prayers. The obligatory prayers and the voluntary prayers, we pray them more, and especially the night prayers. That we stay up that little bit extra and offer as many voluntary prayers as possible. That we make more dua like we have never done before. And that we read as much Qur'an as possible. That you have ambitious targets in these. Because if that one Ramadan comes, this Ramadan, and you fast a very sincere fast, a fast that you're sacrificing so much, Allah will use that fast to calculate the reward of all the other fasts you've ever kept. So try and make the next prayer, the next reading of Qur'an, the next fast you do, the next prayer that you make, the very best one, because that is the one, inshallah, everything else will be calculated with may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala inspire us to do as many good deeds as possible and may Allah accept it from us all. Allahumma ameen. Jazakumullah khairan. Barakallah fikum.